Hi, I'm Chao Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and the Frederick Health Hospital. Uh, when it comes to non-provisional bifurcation stenting, uh, crush techniques uh, are amongst uh, the most common. Uh, crush techniques uh, come in a variety of flavors, and today we're going to talk about how each of the main six uh, crush techniques uh, came to be. Much of uh, what I'm going to go over is based on this absolutely fantastic review uh, published in Jack uh, Cardiovascular Interventions in 2021. It is a real page turner, uh, truly a must read for any interventionalist and especially for uh, younger fellows. Um, for all bifurcation stenting techniques, uh, crush techniques included, uh, preparing both the main branch and side branch is crucial. Uh, since you've already decided uh, in non-provisional stenting that you needed to stent both branches, uh, a, a balloon dissection is not a big deal. So dilate both branches generously, and I will often even do a kissing balloon inflation at this point. Have a low threshold for intravascular imaging to make sure your uh, bifurcation is uh, very well prepared. So level one in crush stenting is the classic crush. Uh, this is the original and simplest uh, crush technique, uh, first uh, described uh, around 2003. In classic crush, uh, you position your stents in the main branch and side branch at the same time. You protrude your side branch stent 4 to 5 millimeters into the main branch, essentially spanning most of the diameter of the main branch. The side branch uh, stent is inflated first, and then the main branch stent is inflated, uh, crushing the side branch stent. And because you're working with two stents at the same time, you will need a, a seven French or larger guide. Eight French will make your life easier, uh, especially if you're working with uh, larger stents. The main problem with uh, classic crush is that the side branch uh, can end up being severely pinched after the side branch stent is crushed, and this can impede flow or even occlude uh, the side branch. So to deal with this, uh, we go to level two. Uh, that's classic crush plus kissing balloon inflation. Uh, this modification to classic crush was first described around 2005. And in essence, uh, after crushing the side branch stent, uh, you rewire the side branch and perform a simultaneous kissing balloon inflation at the bifurcation. Uh, this will help uh, ensure that both the main branch and side branch are well dilated at the same time. And then the main issue here is that 25% of the time, the kissing balloon inflation step is not successful, usually because it's either impossible to uh, rewire the side branch or uh, impossible to deliver a equipment or balloon back into the side branch. The large volume of crushed stent material uh, can make uh, rewiring the side branch and delivering equipment uh, very difficult. So uh, to deal with this, uh, we move to level three, uh, mini crush, uh, which was first described uh, around 2007. So remember in classic uh, crush, uh, you protruded your side branch stent four to five millimeters into the main branch and ended up with a large amount of crushed stent material. But as it turns out, you, don't, you really don't need that much protrusion to adequately, uh, adequately cover the bifurcation. And other than for really narrow bifurcations, uh, protruding the side branch stent uh, just two to three millimeters uh, is uh, sufficient. So the mini crush technique uh, was born. So um, in the classic description of mini crush, uh, you, start up, uh, you start out just like classic crush, except you deploy the side branch stent uh, only uh, two to three millimeters protruding into the main branch. And after the side branch stent is deployed, uh, you crush the side branch stent with the main branch stent, uh, just like in a classic crush. Now, before moving directly to kissing balloon inflation, mini crush also introduced the idea of POT, or a proximal optimization technique. In POT, uh, the proximal portion of the main branch stent is post-dilated first before rewiring the side branch. And this ensures that the main branch stent is very well opposed to the vessel wall proximally and reduces the possibility uh, that your new side branch wire could pass underneath a stent strut or your uh, side branch kissing balloon could catch on the main branch stent. 
And after the pot step, uh, you perform a kissing balloon inflation of the main branch and side branch and do a final repot at the end. Uh, with the smaller side branch uh, protrusion and the additional pot step, uh, the success rate of simultaneous kissing balloon inflation increased to over 90% uh, in the studies of uh, mini crush. So the principal critique for classic mini crush is that a seven French guide was still needed because you were working with two stents at the same time. And most of the world had moved on to PCI with uh, six French guides. So to deal with this, we move to level four, uh, which is the modified mini crush. Here, um, instead of using the main branch stent to crush the side branch stent, the side branch stent is first crushed with a balloon uh, preposition in the main branch. And whereas you need a seven French guide to fit two stents at the same time, you actually now only need a six French guide because you only have a balloon and stent at the same time. So after the side branch stent is crushed by the balloon, uh, you pass your second stent to the main branch, deploy it, and essentially go back and do the rest of the steps from mini crush. You pot the main branch stent, rewire the side branch for kissing balloon inflation, and do a repot at the end. The main problem with the modified mini crush is that it was still often difficult uh, to recross into the main branch and do uh, kissing balloon inflation. So to make crossing back into the side branch easier uh, for kissing balloon inflation, we move to level five, uh, double kissing crush or DK crush. Uh, DK crush was actually first described in 2005. It really became dominant after around 2015 and is probably the most common uh, bifurcation techniques uh, these days. I've done a full step-by-step uh, -step video on how to do DK crush. So you start out in DK crush just like modified mini crush. The side branch stent uh, protrudes two to three millimeters into the main branch and is crushed using a balloon uh, preposition in the main branch. Next, the side branch stent is rewired and the first kissing balloon inflation is performed. The idea of this first kissing balloon inflation step is to dilate a cell uh, in the crushed side branch stent and create an opening into the side branch. Uh, this will make it easier to rewire and pass equipment to the side branch after the main branch stent is placed. So after the first kissing balloon inflation is performed, uh, you pass uh, your second stent uh, to the main branch and uh, deploy it. And after that, uh, you essentially go back and do the rest of the steps from mini crush. Uh, you pot the main branch stent, rewire the side branch for now the second uh, kissing balloon inflation and do a repot at the end. And together with Kulat, a DK crush is probably the most well-studied uh, bifurcation stenting technique. And especially for large bifurcations, uh, such as the left main bifurcation, DK crush appears to result in superior uh, long-term patency. Uh, the main issue with DK crush is that it is rather complicated and takes a while to do. There are a lot of steps, and in many cases, the amount of crushed and mangled stent material uh, is still high. So we move to level six, nano crush, uh, which was first uh, described in 2018. So whereas in mini crush and DK crush, uh, you are protruding your side branch stent two to three millimeters into the main branch, in nano crush, the idea is to protrude the side branch stent just one millimeter or less. And this will substantially minimize uh, the amount of crushed material in the main branch. And because only less than one millimeter of stent protrudes into the main branch, crushing the side branch stent now really amounts to just bending uh, one of the edge, uh, the distal edge. So there is no need for the first kissing balloon inflation step to dilate the side branch stent cell and create an opening uh, like we had to do in DK crush. But as you probably figured, a nano crush does not work for all bifurcations. The bifurcation angle has to be pretty wide, uh, at least 60 degrees or more, and ideally close to 90 degrees. The side branch should also be smaller, uh, generally 2.5 millimeter uh, in diameter or less. And in many ways, nano crush is kind of like a backwards tap technique. In tap, 
the main branch is stented first and then the side branch is placed protruding slightly into the main branch. In Nano Crush, the side branch goes first. So anyway, in Nano Crush, um, uh, it, you, it is performed uh, almost exactly like the modified Mini Crush. Again, using a, a pre-placed uh, uh, main branch balloon to crush the side branch stent that you've uh, protruded less than one millimeter uh, in uh, to the main branch. And after the side branch stent is crushed, or in actuality, uh, actuality just slightly bent at the, at the distal edge, you can skip the first kissing balloon inflation step as we discussed earlier, and essentially just go back and do the rest of the steps for mini crush. You pot the main branch stent, uh, rewire the side branch for kissing balloon inflation, and do a repot at the end. And that's basically a, a brief overview of the six uh, principal uh, crush techniques. Um, there are even more variations, of course. Um, for example, mini crush, DK crush, and nano crush can also be done in reverse. Reverse crush stenting techniques are used in the provisional uh, bifurcation stenting. In other words, leave the uh, side branch alone uh, unless you absolutely have to stent it after fixing the main branch. Provisional stenting is, in general, the preferred approach for most bifurcations. And in reverse crush techniques, uh, the main branch is stented first, and then the side branch, uh, followed by a balloon crush of the side branch stent, and then kissing balloon inflation. The uh, reverse of nano crush is essentially tap stenting, uh, which many of you know uh, is my favorite uh, bifurcation stenting technique. Thank you for watching.